welcome back to the show. Today we will be talking about drawing boards. Drawing tablets, I think it's the correct name. And this is the model from Huion Inspiroi 2 and the size is L as a large. So you can get this in, I believe, in three different sizes. Uh, small, medium and large. Uh, the reason why we got this is that uh, lately I've been doing a lot of uh, editing for the cover photos and everything like that that we need for the videos and lay extra layers and everything like that. Uh, so I noticed that there are some limitations that you can do with the mouse and keyboard. Okay, so the main reason to get a drawing tablet is the accuracy. Uh, when uh, I will show this on later, I will make a, make a sort of introduction about how it actually works. So when you draw in something with a mice, with a mouse. 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 Uh, when you click the mouse button, it will do a single action. It will draw basically one one circle or something like that. Uh, it doesn't matter how hard you push it, but with the pen that this comes, it has over 5000 pressure levels. So more you press it, the, ho the bigger circle it will make. And it, it depends on what, which angle you use it on. So drawing with it, it's easy and simple. And like drawing to paper, basically. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Oh. Uh, this model retails about uh, 100 30 euros currently here in Finland. Uh, the reason why I got this is that this has these extra keys, overall eight keys and three function keys. So every function key will make the extra keys work differently. So there's like 24 shortcuts that you can make to it. And the scroll here, this is something that you can choose for uh, zooming or, or some, to, to changing the brush side or something like that. It's quite useful. but. That's about it for about the specifications. Let's go more into what's in the package. Dude. Tablet is here, but let's check what else first. Well, manual. I will keep it in store because I don't know. Like with the optics, I'm not really a specialist about drawing tablets, so I might need this. Uh, this is the pen that is, you, that is used by the tablet. Uh, there are two function keys here also. You can program them to do the things that you want, like eraser or change the brush or something like that. And the good thing about this pencil is that it doesn't require battery at all. So it's, it doesn't need you to charge it or anything like that. That's so cool. Yeah. Can't wait to break it. That's my toy. <laughs> No, it's not. Uh, this is the well pen holder, holder. pen holder. But an important thing to notice: the pen holder also opens, and there are the extra, the extra uh, pen nips. Mm. The heads are here. So, like with normal pen, when you are drawing, the pen nip kind of uh, uh, fades away within time. So there are ten extra heads here. So. You don't need to buy always a new pen. You can just change the nib. Okay. That's quite good. USB C, uh, USB A to USB C cable, and uh, USB A to USB C dongle. Good. So you can basically connect this to the any, any kind of laptop, even or actually uh, here, here's the good good thing about this that it will work with. Uh, uh, Windows PCs, it will work with Macs and with Android phones or tablets. So you can use this on the go also if you have an Android device that you want to do some quick editing. Not with iOS, at least I have, a, I have an old iPad that I tested and that won't work. Maybe with the newer ones, I'm not sure. Good. Yeah, so ah, <laughs> skipping forward, this is the actual thing, star of the show. So. The drawing area, is the, this is the largest one, like I said, there are smaller versions of this, this is the large, there are medium and small also available. Only difference is the drawing area and the number of the keys that they have, this is the biggest one. Good. Uh, also, also a good thing to notice is that uh, the USB-C cable goes here, 
and you can have it this USB A and the Z adapter, adapter for the USB C. So, like I said, you can use it pretty much any USB device. Uh, and from the software, you can change the rotation of this. So, depending on do you use the left side or right side, do you use the uh, landscape or portrait version, you can change it from the software so it's always correct. Cool. Yeah, that's about it. Now, let's get into some drawing and see what I can come up. I'm not an artist, so please be gentle with the comments. All right. Or you will be our model for this next test. Let me show you how drawing with mouse works. There is only one pressure level, nothing more. No with the pencil. The drawing is changing on how much pressure I'm using or pushing on the pen or which angle I'm using it, it will draw a different kind of a line. And in this model, there are over 5,000 different pressure levels to work with. There are free and commercial paid licenses for different kind of a drawing software. I'm using Corel Paint. Kimp is a free software that you can use for drawing with Windows devices. Here I'm just testing different kind of brushes and trying to make Boyu look more hairy. Like I said, I'm not a professional, so don't hold this against me. So if you are into serious photo editing, I really recommend getting a drawing board because this really enables you to draw freely with your hand. Thanks again for watching guys. Let's see what we can come up next. Bye bye.